observational learning, also known as learning by observation, is the process by which individuals learn new behaviors, skill, or information by observing the behavior of others. This concept was first introduced by psychologist Albert Bandura through his theory called social learning theory. In observational learning, there are four main components. 1. Attention Individual must focus on the models or observe person behavior to learn it. 2. Retention The observed information must be stored in memory for a later us. 3. Reproduction The individual must be able to imitate or reproduce the behavior that has been observed. 4. Motivation there is an impetus or reason for the individual to imitate the behavior. Robert Pandura made an important contribution to the understanding of observational learning to social learning theory. Pandura states that women not only learn through direct experience but, but also through observing the behavior of others. In his view, Observational learning is a resilient form of learning, meaning that it is not limited to direct interaction or personal experience, but is able to absorb lesson from the wider social environment. An analysis of Pandura's view of observational learning highlights several important aspects. One. Learning without direct reinforcement. Pandura suggests that people can learn supply by observing other without receiving direct reinforcement or punishment. In this sense, the robustness of observational learning lies in its flexibility, where individuals can learn in any situation with relevant behavioral models. The role of the model in learning. Bandura explains that the behavior of the observed model is very influential in the learning process. The observed model can be a real individual of a character in the media. Model characteristics such as status, power, or attractiveness influence the effectiveness of learning. This demonstrates the robustness of observational learning as it allows individuals to learn from a variety of sources, even indirect ones. 3. Self-regulation and proactive learning. Pandu emphasized the importance of self-regulation in the observational learning process. That is, individuals not only observe but also actively select the behavior they want to imitate and the effectiveness of this behavior and develop internal motivation to act. 4. What applicability in various contexts? Pandura demonstrated that observational learning can be applied in various life contexts such as education, work, social relationship, and mass media. This makes the concept powerful as it is able to influence learning at the individual and societal level. Albert Bandura developed the social learning theory, which introduced the concept of learning through observation as a key mechanism in learning. Some of the main theoretical concepts proposed by Bandura can be summarized as follows. 1. Observational learning Individuals learn by observing the behavior of others, not just through direct experience. This observation includes attention, retention, reproduction, and motivation. 2. Imitation and modeling the process by which individuals imitate or model the behavior of others they observe. Effective model 
are usually respect or considered successful by the observer. 3. Vicarious reinforcement Individuals learn not only from the reinforcement they directly experience, but also by watching others being rewarded or punished for certain behavior. 4. Self-regulation Pandora emphasizes that individuals have the ability to control and monitor their own behavior. They can set standards for themselves and strive to achieve this goal. 5. Self-efficacy Another key concept in Pandora's theory is an individual's belief in their ability to overcome challenge and achieve goals. The level of self-efficacy affects how one approach takes an obstacle. Explanation of faulty cognitive process according to Pandora Pandora considers cognitive process important in determining human behavior. Evidence for the influence of this cognitive process comes from the fact that we can imagine ourselves in any emotional state. According to Pandora, this can affect a person's imagination because a person's behavior is partly determined by his cognitive process. If cognitive process are not accurate in reflecting reality, faulty or maladaptive behavior may appear. Pandora gives several reasons for the emergence of faulty cognitive process. 1. Error in belief because they evaluate having the objects. 2. Error in thinking occurred when information is drawn from insufficient evidence. 3. Error in thinking can arise from misprocessing of information. Bandura is influence of news and entertainment media. According to Bandura, media such as television, movies, and news become model that we imitate. Here are some key points. 1. Media as teacher. Media teach us how to behave through the example shown. 2. Violence in media. Violence shows that are portrayed as successful and without serious consequence can trigger aggressive behavior in viewers. Real example, the television program Doomday's Flight is an example of, a f of how fictional shows can inspire the life criminal act. 3. Violent news News that present violent dramatically and without full context can also trigger violent acts. 4. Normalization of violence Constant exposure to violence in the media can lead to habituation and even acceptance of violence as normal. Conclusion Media has a strong influence on our behavior. The way violence is portrayed in the media can influence our attitude and action. Therefore, it is important to be critical in consuming media and be aware of the potential negative impact of violent shows.